In this video tutorial, I'm going to discuss trade gains for a single country. I'll look at the country before trade and after trade, and I'll walk through this step by step. I will discuss consumption, production, imports and exports. You can find links to related playlists below. I will plot good Y on the Y axis and good X on the X axis. I'll draw in the country's production possibility frontier or PPF. The blue line represents the ratio of price of good X to price of good Y. These gray lines are community or country indifference curves. I will label those as CI, CI1, CI2, I will draw in a third indifference curve eventually called CI3. The point where the production possibility frontier, the ratio of price X to price Y, and the indifference curve all intersect, marked with a little gray dot, is the level of domestic production and the level of domestic consumption. At this point, domestic production equals domestic consumption. Imports are zero and exports are zero. The country consumes everything it produces. It produces X1 of good X and Y1 of good Y. The country's level of production and consumption of good X is the same. Production and consumption are equal. The country's level of production and consumption is marked by that black line. It consumes everything it produces of good Y. Let's imagine now that the country markets open up to trade and price of Y is lower internationally. We'll see that blue line rotate like that. Now the level of consumption is marked by that green line and the level of production is at that point right there. At first, the country imports more of good Y and consumes less of good X. The country begins to increase its consumption of good Y, and this is done through imports. And the import level is Y2 minus Y1. The country needs to export some of good X. So the country reduces consumption of good X by X1 minus X2. And it actually exports X, and this is how it pays for good Y. Pays for the import of good Y. Just like in consumer theory, a country can reach a higher level of difference curve by shifting out its budget line or the ratio of price X to price Y. So now the level of production rotates to this point right there where the blue line is tangent with the production possibility frontier. The country can reach a higher indifference curve so its consumption moves to that green point right there where the blue line is tangent with the indifference curve. Just to review quickly, the country shifts its level of production from this gray dot right there down to this purple dot, and that's the level of domestic production. And the country moves to a higher indifference curve and now consumes at that gray dot, and this is domestic consumption. Now the country consumes higher levels of both good X and good Y. It consumes level X3 of good X and level Y3 of good Y. It produces X4 of good X and a lot less of good Y at Y4. Again, the purple is domestic production 
and the green is domestic consumption. Now the country produces a lot more good X than it consumes, which it will export. Exports are X4 minus X3. The country now will consume a lot more of good Y than it produces. So it has a lot of imports of good Y, which is Y3 minus Y4. You'll often see in books, and your professor probably discusses the trade triangle, which is just this triangle right here. I'll build it. I'll move over the import and the exports. And so this gray triangle right here is the called the trade triangle. Now the country can reach a higher indifference curve, so it's better off overall. The country increases its consumption of good Y, which would be Y3 minus Y1. And it also increases its consumption of good X, which would be X3 minus X1, that distance there. It's worth noting also the country will have a large decrease in production of good Y. So if you're in that industry, you're a worker in that industry, you will be hurt. That's the bottom line. And it will increase its production of good X. So if you're in that industry, you'll benefit. So decrease in production of good Y and increase in production of good X. In this video, I discussed the country before trade and after trade. I showed how a country consumes more of both good X and good Y after trade. And this is just an introduction to single country gains from trade or home country gains from trade. Don't forget to share the love, share the knowledge. Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. You can find links to other videos and related videos below. And always subscribe.